Welcome to City Update. I'm Gavin McRoberts and today I'm joined by Jessica Howes. She's with Fayetteville Cumberland Parks and Recreation and it's that time of year the leaves are turning and starting to fall and the city's getting ready to start up its loose leaf program and that's why I asked Jessica to come here and talk about the program because a lot of people may not realize Parks and Rec, you guys actually operate the loose leaf program. We do, we do. Um, our upcoming um, season starts on November the 21st. Um, it'll run all the way um, until next year, the beginning of next year. Um, this is a service that we actually offer to um, our citizens where they can get their leaves picked up um, in a particular zip code, depending on which you know area we're in, um, free of charge. And so the, it starts up the 21st, and as I recall, like certain sections of the neighborhoods are is done by zip code. Is it was the time pickup? Tell me a little bit about that. So the first zip code is 28314, um, and I think that runs from like November the 21st up into like December the 3rd, and then it the, the next zip code will come in and it'll just keep rolling in that way. So we cover all of um, Fayetteville. Now, if residents want to know more about when their house is scheduled for pickup or when their zip code, they can go to the city's website at www.fablenc.gov slash leaf season. And at that website, there's also some great tips on what residents need to know before they put those leaves to the curb. Because I know you guys don't want to um, damage any of the equipment as you're sucking up those leaves. This is correct, Gavin. So one of the things we do ask um, that everybody has their leaves out the day before um, their pickup day even starts. I um, mean, when you have those leaves put out, we ask that you do not cover any water uh, meter boxes. We want it away from your mailboxes or any type of instructions that may cause damage to those um, loose leaf vehicles. Um, we also ask that you don't have any trash, limbs, or any other debris inside of those. Pine cones are okay, but we ask that you do um, keep those things separate so it, again it doesn't cause any damages. Because all that leaves is going to be mulched and used for uh, for around the grounds and everything to keep everything looking nice and pretty. And and hard to believe, you got to be careful about some of the stuff that goes in there. I think I heard a horror story about a, a bowling ball getting yes. sucked up into one of the machines <laughs> and that could do a lot of damage. So, and I also understand you got to keep it away from any overhead power lines and within mm -hmm. about two feet of, of the road and away from any storm drains because you don't want to clog up any of the drains. This is correct. This is most definitely correct. We want to be careful with that. Now I know every effort's made to pick up a neighborhood uh, within that, um, every house within that neighborhood in that zip code during the one, during their time frame. But if a person, uh, you know, at the end of that time period and their house hasn't been picked up, um, where can they go to, uh, to schedule a pickup of their loose leaves? So they actually can just give a um, call in to the 433-1-FAY um, and we'll be more than glad to get that scheduled. Um, and the guys will be back around to get those leaves picked up as soon as they can. And you can also go visit faithfixit.com to right. submit that uh, work request order in as well. So, uh, Jessica, I want to thank you for coming on and sharing all that great information about the loose leaf pickup season. So remember, starting November 21st, make sure you get your leaves to the curb the day before the scheduled pickup for your zip code. Go visit the city's website at fablenc.gov slash leaf season to find out in, when your neighborhood is scheduled for pickup. Thanks for joining us.